Sean, I apologize. The other one got long, so go ahead and start the timer. Um, I don't think this one's going to take as long. So this is an aerial uh, colored view of Persepolis. There is a good possibility that some of this stuff is gone. Um, there have been obviously countless wars there, and uh, not that ISIS may have done anything, but ISIS did make it their sort of mission to destroy artifacts of the ancient cultures. So um, no, I'm not saying that they did it here, but in other areas, they definitely destroyed uh, areas of, of the, the country. So... Um, all right, so uh, another image that shows the columns, what's left of the columns, and it also shows some of the relief uh, sort of sculptures along. I'm trying to get my mouse to go to that side, which doesn't seem to want to do. Where, there it is. So you see the stairs, right? And you see the relief forms that are here. This is all stone. You see the columns, and you start to see the beginnings of capitals. One of the things that I want you guys to relate back to is this notion of proportion. Okay, because this notion of proportion is going to be coming up with the Greeks and the Romans. We talked about it on day one, right? A ratio of length to width. And if you look at these columns, you probably can see that they have a very slender length to width. So that's one of the things that I want you guys to note. Um, some additional sort of remnants are some of the gateways um, and portals in Persepolis. Here is an artist's reconstruction of the interior. And you can see that essentially these halls were just filled with columns. Okay. You'll see when we get to the Greeks that, that, that the phrase for these halls that are filled with columns is actually going to be hypostyle. And that there are other courts that are called peristyle that have an opening in the center. Don't worry about that for now. Um, we'll talk about that with the Egyptians. Okay. So... Um, more remnants and more um, sort of reconstructions so you can get an idea of the level of detail, right? Uh, the, the winged bull that we see coming out of the Assyrian culture, um, but a very refined sort of character to the proportions and the details of the architecture. Very different than the Assyrian um, predecessors. Oops, wrong direction. So here we see some of the capital heads. Uh, that are at the top of the bases of the columns. And so there is a, a drawing of it uh, dating back to, I believe, when it was um, discovered and then coming forward to actual pieces that are in museums. And I'm not sure what museums those are in. They're called the, the, the bull was one of the key figures within Assyrian and um, uh, between the Assyrians and the um, the Assyrians, the Persians, and the New Babylonians. So if you look at the Ishtar Gate, you're going to see that there's a combination of dragons and bulls on the Ishtar Gate. And here, once again, you see that. Um, you also see that uh, in reference to some of the, the prehistoric structures, for example, uh, Katal Hayuk. So, all right, so that is the end of this presentation, so let me stop this video.